you can now apply appearances to sketches. From the Appearance panel on the right, notice a new tab at the top for sketches. Selecting the appearance, you can change the color from the default to a color of your choice. This can be particularly useful in layout-based design workflows, where you may have many sketches that you wish to differentiate. These sketch colors can also be displayed when showing sketches on drawings. From the View Properties, enable the option to Show Sketch Appearances. Now, any sketches we show will carry their assigned appearance rather than using the drawing default, which is specified in the drawing properties. As a note, you can also enable the Show Sketch Appearances option at the time of inserting a drawing view. There are a wide variety of measure options available from the Measure dialog. New with this release, the measurement on screen persists and updates dynamically even if dragging components and creating motion within your assembly. In this release, you'll find improved functionality working with patterned mate connectors. In this basic example, we'll start by patterning this mate connector to match up with each of the holes along the length of the rail. This is all being completed in the Parts Studio defining the rail. Inserting the rail into an assembly, we can see the pattern mate connectors now correctly show in the instance list. We can then utilize these mate connectors to very quickly mate our clip assemblies at any of the locations we wish along the length of the rail. With this release, you'll find an updated interface for the whole feature. At the top, you'll select your units. Just below, you can pick between simple, counterbore, and countersink. You can define the location and merge scope just as you normally would. You'll see expected options for different hole types as well as sizes. The sizes show the dimension of that hole in addition to just the standard. The start and termination options are just below the hole size. All dimensional fields are expandable and you may override the dimension itself as well as change the precision and add a tolerance. We hope this new interface makes it easier for you to find and apply the correct hole size you are looking for. The view cube has been updated to more clearly show what options are selected. Additionally, you may now right click an option and choose to set as default. This will then persist at an account level across other documents or tabs you open. A detail view may now be created directly referencing a cropped view. Simply crop the view you wish to work with, and then place a detail view exactly as you normally would off of that cropped view. In this release, you'll find improvements to datum targets. Placing a datum target on the center hole, you can now choose to define its location using an angle. Selecting the origin for the angle definition will create the dimensions. You can update the value of the dimension accordingly to capture your exact intended location. You can flip the measurement or the angle display. You can even add additional instances directly from the same dialog. Hitting the green check will complete the creation of the datum targets. And of course, any minor adjustments to the annotations created can be done afterwards. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.